It takes a certain amount of courage to stay aware of how you feel in this era where, you know, I guess it started in the 50s where people started being called consumers in North America. So that's a way to, you know, negate the divinity within each one of us, you know, because we're all aspects of God. So, you know, the result of all this um, diminishing of our intrinsic worth is we tend to ignore how we feel. We tend to discount it. Now, I'm not talking about emotion so much, although that's part of it, but I want to talk about your deep feeling that you will be aware of and there's no emotion in it but it will tell you about yourself so for example i remember in my teens and early 20s feeling like i was walking on the surface of life and you know it was kind of chronic uh, i just felt like that and it was really true. I was doing exactly that, you know? I was running from my heart and my depth at 100 miles or kilometers an hour. Um, so that was the truth of things. Um, another example, I mean, sometimes I'm working with people and they'll feel beside themselves, as if their real self is sitting right next to themselves. And indeed, we do have this expression, you know, oh, I'm, I'm beside myself with worry. And, you know, over and over again, when I'm working with people, all they have to do is let their divine energy, let their soul into their bodies, sort of be helped to relax and trust enough that the cells of their body can open up more to the truth of them. Now, what this means is um, our, our cells are made out of unconditional love, which is the energy scientists talk about. Um, but also, our cells also carry um, our imprinting of our ego and patterns from other lives. So when, you know, um, we're, we're feeling beside ourselves, if we just kind of put our arms around our full self, our human self, our divine self, our arms around our feelings of discomfiture or loneliness or whatever is running with us, we can kind of click in. It's like, and there's a shift into greater unity and clarity, and it's felt as a physical event. Yeah, it's like, as we, get down to the truth of ourselves as we're willing actually to notice these more subtle feelings and to have an attitude of embracing ourselves love and honoring ourselves we start to flow like a river we start to flow like a, a mountain brook you know of clear fresh water flowing unobstructed so this is why I'm making the video because women particularly get a lot of data that we um, tend to discount because it's inconvenient um, or it's not validated by the outer world at all. You know, and different civilizations have more understood um, the subtlety of the feminine energy. Um, but in, in our world, um, you know, the God of productivity and um, achieving wealth and all those things. So, but just um, pay attention to your feeling. Yeah. Yeah, how do you feel? What's the subtle messages that your soul's giving to you? And if you can just embrace them, you know? So as I embrace this feeling of walking on the surface of life, as I kind of saw the truth of it, I deepened, you know? It's like you don't have to fight these things. Just take it as uh, messages from the soul. And, you know, they're closer to the surface than we might think. Mm hmm Okay. Okay. Bless your hearts. And remember, you 
are intrinsically of infinite worth. Yeah, just as you are. You're a work of art in progress. Yeah. Okay. Bless your heart.